It is currently the 19th of February, 2021. I always stress the date because it's always very important if you're watching this update a few days after I've made it. Well, the information is obviously no longer valid. But here on our Friday morning, when I'm making this update, we do have our tropical storm, Dujuan, known locally here in the Philippines as All Rain. Plenty of convection in this. It is going to be a big rainmaker as it moves off across the Philippine Sea into northeastern Mindanao and southeastern Visayas. It's located actually on the tail end of a shear line and a cold surge that is moving in from the north. That eventually is going to cause this to weaken, and I'll get to that in just a second. But it's a good to show the bigger picture and not just zoom in on our storm so you have an idea of what's going on here. Let's zoom in on the storm because that's also important too. Water vapor imagery, look at this right here. Look at that, it's spin up right there. Not quite an eye, but it does show just a bit of that vorticity really spinning up, showing some of that intensification over the last 24 hours with our system as it tracks off here towards the west. One key thing, since this is full star, so far south, it is struggling with a lack of Coriolis, thus you don't really have a lot of that convection on the southern periphery of it, and it's kind of blob-like, if you will, but still... A lot of convection, a lot of moisture here. It is going to be a huge rainmaker. The winds are secondary, I think, to the, the rain, but uh, 40 gusting up to 60 knots. A tropical storm moving west very, very slowly at this time. Here's another thing I do want to talk about, the upper level winds, the divergence aloft. It allows for a little of this intensification, but you can see it here on satellite imagery, and I, I can show this all day. But what was neat is a few people across Visayas sent me these photos. This is from Harry. You can visually see that divergence aloft. These, uh, basically, this banding, this is cirrus banding, the outflow in Cebu. Thank you very much, Harry, for sharing this. Pretty neat. Now, this won't impact you directly. These clouds are, uh, shoot, 30, 40,000 feet up. But this is that outflow, that banding due to those winds flowing in the upper levels from our storm system. Pretty neat. You can see what's going on with a tropical system hundreds of kilometers away at the surface just by looking up there. It's one of those ways that uh, before we had satellites, before we had uh, internet, all that stuff, we were able to tell when a, not me, we meteorologists in general were able to tell if a tropical system was headed our ways. Here's a look at the multi-tracks. This is a GDWC, JMA, and Pegaso. All pretty confident on a similar track as far as that center of circulation. Here's a look at Pegaso's forecast coming on shore here as we go ahead through our Saturday and then eventually uh, over the weekend, slowly, slowly tracking across uh, the Philippines here. I like JTWC's track though. Um, the visualization with it because we have this right here it shows it maxing out about 50 to 60 knots east of mindanao but then as it moves over land gradual weakening and really continuing the taper off as it moves out here north of Pelawan, down to about a tropical depression intensity now there is some uncertainty in the long range forecast as far as that intensity is concerned I'll show you that in a second this is friday morning though Right now, we basically have our convective system, those winds flowing around that western periphery here with those gusty conditions already being felt. Now, as we go ahead into Saturday, we're starting to see those winds continue to come on shore. Our circulation gets closer and closer. The rainfall being the bigger issue, I do believe. That's why I'm kind of switching over to rainfall, backing away from the winds in the next few images because I believe the rain is the bigger threat. Saturday evening, we have those showers continuing to kick up here. Heavy stuff across northeastern Mindanao. Flood threat and landslide threat is still going to be a big issue. And then eventually as we go into Sunday, it starts to move across Visayas, moving us into places like Cebu with those heavier showers. Gusty conditions, you might even still be seeing tropical storm strength gusts. But there is questions I have by Sunday into Monday because uh, there's this shear with this cold surge coming in. And the models, specifically GFS and European, are just vastly different on intensity. So rainfall is going to be problematic, regardless of the winds. But take a look at this, GFS versus Euro. This is the GFS wind forecast for Sunday. Look at this. You can barely find the center of circulation. It's actually down here towards the south because that shear with that cold surge destroys our system over the weekend, according to this guidance. 
Now, the euro continues to keep a just beast of a storm in here. I think we're going to fall somewhere in the middle of this. I think we're still going to have tropical storm eventually weaken out to a tropical depression over the uh, West Philippine Sea here. The, both the models are kind of have extreme so at this time. GFS could, falls it apart. It just completely dissipates it. The euro keeps it as a beast storm moving across the Philippines. Euro would be, definitely be a very problematic situation here. Um, but I, I really think we're going to find a find a middle ground here. The storm will weaken, but it still won't completely dissipate as it tracks towards the northwest. So heavy rainfall is in the flood threats, the big issue with those cold surge impacts on Luzon uh, continuing to uh, really be the big issue. And then eventually that moisture flow is going to come off towards the north. But there's questions heading next week. As about how intense the storm system is going to be as it reemerges on the west coast of the Philippines. If it does remain intense, strong, we could have an inflow problem with heavy rainfall across parts of Luzon. Anyways, thanks for watching this update all the way to the end. I truly, truly appreciate it. I know a lot of you do find these videos helpful and useful. And the key thing uh, with that is feedback. A lot of you have given me some decent feedback the last few days. And if you notice, my pronunciation does change from time to time because I listen. <laughs> so I, I try to make these as useful as possible. If you do like these videos, please subscribe. Thank you for very much, everybody on Patreon. Also check out westernpacificweather.com, basically this channel. Dot com. Um, I uh, put some donation buttons there. These graphics aren't free and everything. So if you want to help out, but I understand not everybody can donate so the big thing is subscribe hit that like button comment say hi robert or let me know you're still watching or let me know any questions that helps with the algorithm and it helps keep these videos shared so we can get more information out to more people and also yeah all these social media platforms i'm gonna have another update tomorrow probably maybe 15 16 hours from when i'm posting this one i always have to squeeze it in between my jobs and all this other stuff going on right now so uh, when I get to it, I'll definitely give you some uh, another video, another update for you. Stay safe out there, and as always, thanks for watching.